everyone, my name is James and welcome to Birgit's Pig Fact video for the week. Despite poor challenges in South Africa, vehicle sales and exports increased in 2023. Why do you think that is so? I think the primary reason why vehicle exports increased is I think a lot to do with the uh, exclusive arrangements or agreements that uh, some of the OEMs have with uh, South Africa's uh, assembly plants. So for instance, uh, BMW has an exclusive X3 or I think a 3 Series contract to produce those vehicles within country for the export market, predominantly Europe. Right. So the reason why exports have gone up is just to say that uh, whoever was negotiating for the OEMs on, uh, who are based in South Africa was doing a really good job and they've been able to you know, secure that exclusivity and produce on behalf of the uh, global businesses and uh, yeah it's 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 sustained you know or contributed to growth in, in exports and i think the the oems that have these arrangements i think it's mercedes-benz it's bmw it's vw and i think maybe ford so that's going to sustain you know uh growth and uh, progression in exports up until about 2030 where evs are the ones that are going to be imported more into these regions and ICE vehicles are going to be banned. South African EV sales increased, but demand is still low. Is still low. What is the government doing to increase demand? I don't think it's a function of the government. But well, it, it depends. So in Germany, where there's, there was a significant amount of EV sales, uh, the government was paying out subsidies, which encouraged a, a rise in demand of electric vehicles, right? So maybe a subsidy program could also be introduced into South Africa to increase EV sales. But uh, I would say it's too soon or too early because one of the things that needs to be sorted out is charging infrastructure. So it's bringing in more companies that are going to support in terms of developing the charging infrastructure for the country. And then after that is done, it's also to say, do we have the support industry for electric vehicles, parts, spare parts, uh, maintenance plans, or maintenance um, facilities for, for those types of vehicles? And then there's also like uh, charging stations. Are there enough businesses in South Africa at the moment that are selling domestic charging devices or stations? Because I don't think they are at the moment. So once they figure out that, that's when probably the government can step in and start offering subsidies. But at present, it's, it's just, let's change the policy focus on the policy to say of course i know that there was a bill that was put out in december but it's it's now to say how how do we encourage or increase ev sales through enabling policy through support of the oems to start supplying or producing more evs and then i think the sec the last thing is to say how then do we raise awareness and educate the local customer to for their next vehicle purchase to opt for an electric vehicle as opposed to an uh, ICE vehicle. Uh, thank you, James. Thank you, Sipo, for putting me on the spot and uh, getting me to answer these questions off the cuff. And thank you all for watching. And uh, yeah, look forward to the next uh, Quick Facts video from Birgit. Cheers. Uh -huh.